God is so good. God is so good. Sing it with me. God is so good. He's so good to me. He loves me so. He loves me so. He loves me so. He's so good to me. I praise His name. I praise His name. I praise His name. He's so good to me. I love Him so. Sing it with me now. I love Him so. I love Him so. He's so good to me. Boy, it's good to know that He loves me. And it's a great day just to love the Lord. I want to say thank you for coming on today. And sorry for the uh, moving around possibly of the phone on this video. But uh, I'm having to head to the doc doctor's appointment. So for that, I'm, my wife's driving and I'm over here doing this. So uh, it's good to have you come on today. And uh, I still am sharing with you the greatest news yet. And that is Jesus is alive and well. And uh, he's doing good today, and I'm so thankful for what he's done for us and how he's blessed our life. And so I pray that uh, God's hand will steady be upon us as we go into these days. I want to make you mindful of May the 10th uh, is Mother's Day, and that is the opening day of our services again. We invite everybody to come, be a part of the worship service. I so look forward to seeing the faces and everybody that's around. And so uh, come, be a part of those services at 10 o'clock. Uh, not 11 o'clock, not 1045, but it's at 10 o'clock. And so please spread the word. Let everybody know. Sardis Lake, let everybody know it's at 10 o'clock and not 1045. So, and if you're not comfortable, come. We don't we don't want you to be there. We won't, we'll have live services still and uh, for you and then for ours. And so we hope that be a help to you until you're comfortable, until you're comfortable to come back in and take part of those services. We love you today. It's an honor to be with you again. I do want to share a word from the Lord. I want to finish up today when I started yesterday, so maybe it won't be long at all. So I was talking about rise and shine. I was talking about how it's important for God's people to rise up in this day and time. I thought about the Lord, and I gave you the example of Mark chapter 1, verse 35. And he said this, the Lord said this himself. Uh, and in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. There's something special, you see. There's something unique about uh, spending the first part of your day with the Lord. And, uh, and if we do that, I've learned this over the years, your day goes a lot, lot better. If you'll just spend some time with the Lord in the morning before your day, spend some time reading something in His Word, spend some time in prayer. And if you find yourself in a difficult place, if you do that, uh, maybe you're struggling with a few issues. You'll spend some time with the Lord, get some instructions from His Word. Your day will go a whole lot better. And uh, I think everybody's out for a day going a lot better. Amen. And so I want to share it. I shared with you a few thoughts that uh, about that uh, that ought to motivate us to want to meet with the Lord when we get up and when we before we start our day. There's some things that we can do in our life and reasons why we want to meet with the Lord at the beginning of our day and not the end. It's good to do both, but especially at the beginning of the day. And so I said, because of the concern of impending judgment upon the wicked and those that are without Christ, it ought to get us, uh, want to make us want to get up in the morning and pray on behalf of every lost person that the Lord will deal with them and that we'll be a better witness to them to see them saved. Listen, one person going to a devil's hell will be the most tragic thing. And the Bible says, broad is the gate, many are going that way in the morning. And so, um, and then I want to say, and if it cuts off, I'm sorry, it'll come back on maybe. Uh, and then I want to say we said that the desire to obey God's will ought to get you up in the morning and to want to spend time with Jesus Christ. You want the will of God done for your life? 
you ought to get up and let's spend some time with the Lord. If not, you'll find out, you'll, you'll confess at the end of the day for a lot of things you didn't do that God said you ought to do. Amen? You ought to want God's will to be done in your life. And then the plan to fulfill God's mission in your life ought to get you up in the morning and spend time with God. Because you ought to want God's mission, His work, to be accomplished in every day of your life. Thought about Exodus 8 and 20. And the Lord said unto Moses, Rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh. We talked about everybody's got a Pharaoh in their life they're dealing with. Everybody, every Christian has a Pharaoh somewhere that you're going to have to face. Many Pharaohs in your life that you're going to have to deal with. And so we need to get up early in the morning and ask God about our mission, about what he wants us to do uh, in our life. And then, dear friend, uh, we talked about the expectation of a day of victory ought to make us want to get up and meet with the Lord uh, in the morning before we start our day. Uh, because I want to tell you, I don't expect defeat. I want victory in my life. Amen? I believe victory. I'm tired of seeing God's people walking around defeated. We ought to be in victory of the Lord. We ought to want to brag on the victories that we have in the Lord. We have very few testimonies today about people standing in churches wanting to raise their hands anymore and say, thank God that he's kept me from this. And I've overcome this. And God's blessed me here. So we ought to want to see and hear more victory today. Amen. You want victory in your life? You need to meet with God in the morning time. Amen. Not at the end of the day. Start off in the morning with the Lord. It ought to get us up in the morning. We want to spend time with him just for the anticipated victory. Let me give you three other little thoughts before we get off of here. And that is, dear friend, we ought to want to get up. And it ought to get you up in the morning whenever you begin to, uh, the preparation to fight your battles. Every one of us have battles every day of our life. And some days are harder than other days. And dear friend, when we have battles in our life, we need to be able to get up and meet with the Lord for instructions for the battlefield. We need to know. We need to suit up with the armor of God. We need to do what God's Word says. But we need to be meeting with the Lord at the first part of the day so we'll be ready to fight the battles we've got to fight. The Bible, he did that. Joshua did that. He wanted to prepare to fight the battle of Jericho. And the Bible says in Joshua 6 and 12, And Joshua rose up early in the morning. David did it in preparation for the battle, his fight against the giant. It's in 1 Samuel chapter 17. Matter of fact, in verse number 20, and David rose up early in the morning. Now, some days we need to get up. We need to get ready for the battle. And to do that, we need to spend time with the Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing sweeter, dear friend. You want victory in your life? You've got to get ready for the battles in your life. And the Lord wants to do that, but we've got to spend some time with him uh, at the first part of the day. Dear friend, I, I know that there's a lot of Baptist folks that might be listening to me, and I've got to tell you, uh, the kind of fighting we do sometimes is not the Baptist way. It's not the kind of way God wants us to do them. We ought to, dear friend, be fighting but not each other. We ought to be fighting the good fight of faith, amen, and serving the Lord and pleasing him. And we we got to be ready to fight against the world, the flesh, and the devil. That's our enemy. The world, the flesh, and the devil. That is our enemy. And then we need to find the source of our real spiritual problems. To find the source of your real spiritual problems, we're going to have to get up and spend some time with the Lord. The Bible says in Joshua chapter 7 and verse 16, so Joshua rose up early in the morning. And you know what, dear friend? He the source of some real spiritual problems. Therefore, Joshua rose up in the morning to get to the root of all that was going on. The nation of Israel at this time was a type of an individual Christian that had fallen in battle. And God said that there was sin was the problem. Sin was the problem in the camp. Him. And he had to root it out. He had to find it out. Dear friend, if you've got sin you're harboring in your life, confess it before God. Get it right. God said he's faithful in 1 John 1 and 9. He's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let the Lord wash that away and clean that in your life. And the last thought was this, dear friend, before we close out, and that is the passion to leave the Philistines uh, ought to want to get you up in the morning. Now, what I mean by that, uh, there was a time in David's life, in 1 Samuel 29, I thought about the Bible says, so David... Uh, so David rose up early to depart. You see, there was a time that he was running 
from his, his son. He was running from Saul. He was running from some others. And because of his strife with Saul and under the people God of God in Israel who served under Saul, David had fled. And when he ran away, the Bible says he fled into uh, the arms, basically, of the Philistines. Now, the Philistines, everybody knows anything about your Bible. You know, they're the enemy of God. They're not God lovers. They're God haters. They're God rejectors. Listen, dear child of God, you need to get up early in the morning because if you're hanging around the wrong crowd, you're hanging around the wrong things, you need to be able to get up and spend some time in the morning so you'll have strength to walk away. One of the hardest things I ever did whenever I first started growing in the Lord and getting my heart right with God is that I had to get away from people that I was doing bad things with. I'll never forget it. And uh, it was terrible on me. All I knew was the kind of friendships that brought me deeper and involved in things of this world that was destroying my life. And dear friend, the only way I found a peace to be able to get away from that was on my knees before the Lord and asking God to give me strength to find new friends. Friends that had a love for God. Friends that had a, a care for the things of God. People that had a spiritual appetite for the Lord, for the Lord and the love of God. I pray today that you'll get some strength to walk away from some things that might be hindering you today. And God will do that if you'll spend some time with Him. Spend it early in the day, not late in the day. It's good to do it then too, but spend some time. There's something about spending that time before the day gets too crazy that you can have some time with the Lord and watch God do a mighty, mighty work in your life. Don't you want God to do a mighty work in your life? I pray that you do. And uh, I want things to go well in your home life, in your church life, and all your experiences. But, dear friend, you need to rise and shine. You need to have an experience with God today. Trust Him. Obey Him. Live for the Lord Jesus Christ. Know God. Meet with Him early on. There's some reasons we need to meet with the Lord early on in our day. We love you today. We appreciate you. If this thing's broke up a little bit, I apologize for that. Uh, but pray for me. Go to the doctor today and as we travel up here and get back home. And uh, you have a blessed day. What a gorgeous day it is. Dear sweet Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for those that have come on and those that will see this today. May something, just something, God, we have said, dear Lord, or shared from the Word of God might be an encouragement and a help to their heart and life. Something might help them along the way. It's been worth it all. In Jesus' name, we love you. Amen.